What it do do Welcome to Hood Soul Wisdom First and foremost, I appreciate you tapping in. I hope this episode finds you in the very best of every single aspect possible, including but not limited to mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. Those are and forever will be my highest hopes and prayers for you and yours. I'm your host, Ruby. Glad you came through to Align and Thrive. This episode is brought to you by Forever Wise Coaching. Align and Thrive with your health and wellness in mind. And Forever Wise Apparel, conscious wear with the essence of a G. Episode 29, loyalty. I mentioned on my Mindset Monday video, never be so loyal to someone that you cheat yourself. Now I wanted to break this down further and expand because when I'm talking about loyalty, I'm not only talking about that relationship you have with a significant other because when you're loyal by nature and that's just how you carry yourself, you're loyal all the way around. You're loyal to your friends. You're loyal to your family. It's something that you do. As I'm growing and going through this journey, I've realized that loyalty can be a double-edged sword because sometimes we're so loyal that we just give, give, and give to others. And as we're giving, we're emptying ourselves That's where that whole people pleasing comes in. When you're loyal, you want to make sure that everybody around you is straight. Now, there's nothing wrong with that because that's who you are. That's how you carry yourself. I remember when I was younger and I would come across people and it was good people. I always extended my loyalty. Man, if you ever need something and it's within my reach, I got you. And a lot of the times I will go out of my way to make sure that these people were straight because that's who I was. That's who I am. It's like if I offer you my loyalty, I'm gonna make sure I make shit happen. You have to understand that when that's you and that's what you do, it has nothing to do with anybody outside of you. It has nothing to do with the people. It's like the people don't make you loyal. They just receive your loyalty because that's who you are. And I feel like a lot of us who are like that innately, we don't realize how sometimes we cut ourselves short. I'll give you a quick example and it ain't even deep, but it's just a quick example. When I was a teenager, late teens, early adult, I had a group of friends who I always kicked it with. And what did we do? All we did was smoke blunts, drink photies, post up in the car, eat. That was it. That was my everyday thing. Yeah, you know, I was in school doing what I had to do. And at that time, it was like the first time I got out of the hood. It was the first time that I learned something different, that I was able to connect with other people. People who didn't live like I lived. People whose normal life was nothing compared to my everyday life. People who <laughs> people who had shit going. And I remember I had a friend. This person was dope as fuck from South Central. Straight, nitty gritty. But. This person was fucking adventurous, always going hiking, going on road trips, fucking finding nature trails, shit that I find amazing nowadays. But this person would always tell me, hey, Ruby, I want to invite you here. Hey, Ruby, let's go there. And in my mindset, I was like, man, like, I don't want my people to think I'm too good for them because I'm going to go chill with this person and go do this extra shit that I ain't even about. Because at that time, I wasn't about that. That's not where my mind was at. So I was so loyal to this group of friends that I cheated myself out of experiencing beautiful things in life. Now I like hiking. Now I like fucking road trips. I don't even think I've been on one. (laughs) But now I like all that type of shit that's going to open up my mind, stimulate my mind. Back then, yeah, my mind was stimulated because I was studying and doing everything I had to fucking do. But I feel like I cheated myself. On the other hand, this person, I could see the way he was so loyal to himself, where he could have been caught up in all the bullshit, but he was loyal to himself and what he wanted to do. And like I said, that's a small example, but 
think about it, like when you think about the little homies or people who are involved in that hood mentality, right? Loyalty is valued if you're a solid one, if you're real. And now you have these youngsters being so loyal to the fucking hood, so loyal to the cause that they fucking cheat themselves out of a, I would say, I don't even know if to say normal life, but out of a better life. I seen it firsthand with my cousins. I had a little primo who was bound to be a fucking soccer star. Had so many fucking opportunities. Had people trying to recruit him, pay for him to play on their teams. This little young and ended up getting into the hood. Got lost. Mentally got lost. That's that. No type of future. One of my other primos, smart as fuck. Fucking advanced classes. Same thing. Got into the hood. Been gone for more than 15 years now, upstate. So loyalty is a double-edged sword. We got to be aware of how we're using that loyalty. Now, I'm not here fucking telling you, fuck everybody. Don't be loyal to nobody. It's all about you and you first. Nah, but it goes back to that number one relationship. First, be loyal to you. Be so loyal to your goals, your desires, to your well-being to your health, emotional, physical, spiritual. Be so loyal to everything that makes you whole from within that first you pursue that and you don't end up cheating yourself by trying to please everybody out there. Now, yeah, still be loyal, still be a caring individual, but you shouldn't be put in a place where you compromise what it is you want to do for you so that somebody else is okay. Loyalty is a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful quality, but prioritize yourself. Still be loyal, still be beautiful, still be genuine, still be authentic. But first, use all of those qualities for your growth, for your well-being. And as you pursue and embody that best version of yourself, that's loyal to yourself in every single manner, then continue with your loyalty for others. Like I once told somebody, you ain't never had a friend like me. Believe that. But. Be that friend to yourself first so that your cup is always full and you could extend that to others because the other way around, it ain't going to work. And on top of that, be mindful and respect those who are on this journey beginning to be loyal to themselves. And sometimes when someone is loyal to themselves, you may end up on the back burner for a little bit, but don't take that shit personally because... If you really got love for someone, you'll be happy to see them be loyal to themselves, to see them grow and become that best version of themselves. Because everyone deserves that loyal person in their lives. Whether it's a friend, significant other, homie, everybody deserves to have that loyal person in their life. But most importantly, everyone deserves to be loyal to themselves so that they could accomplish everything they fucking desire. So yeah, this one was for my solid ones. And if you know and understand and feel what I'm talking about, then I hope you could take something good with you out of this. Before I wrap it up, right? Make sure y'all tap in. Follow me on IG at Hood Soul Wisdom at Forever Wise Coaching and at Forever Wise Apparel for updates, giveaways, and merch drops. And if you haven't yet, do yourself a favor and click the link on the bio at Hood Soul Wisdom to download eight affirmations to help you tap in and align with your essence. And subscribe to the email list so you're always up on game with what I got coming next. I appreciate you coming through and as always, may the higher powers guide you, protect you, and fully equip you with a pure mind, good health, and a solid spirit. With much love, respect, and sincerity, I'm out.